The Watcher has been murdered, his armory was raided, and his eyes plucked from his head. Summoned to the crime scene on the blue area of the moon by Thor, Captain America, Wolverine, Black Widow, and Nick Fury opened an investigation to track down the Watcher's killer. Meanwhile, a shadowy figure puts several superhuman operators into play, chasing down other leads somehow related to the killing of the Watcher on the moon. In Manhattan, the Thing and Spider-Man did battle with a rampaging Mindless One, only to discover that the creature had somehow gained sentience. Before they could intercede, the tortured Mindless One took its own life by using the Ultimate Nullifier, a weapon of great power last seen in the possession of the Watcher. Somewhere underneath the Earth, Ant-Man, Emma Frost, and Black Panther investigates a graveyard of giants and monsters seeking for clues to the Watcher's killer. Ant-Man discovers their first clue. New York City, Nick Fury circles around a building while connected to the Avengers chasing down a mindless one. Suddenly, the suspect crashes out of the window and lands backseat on Fury's hover vehicle. Fury takes a shot at the mindless one and the defenses kicks in wrapping the suspect in place. Fury jetpacks out of the vehicle and shoots the gas tank causing his ride to blow up along with the minus one. Avengers Tower, Tony Stark and Bruce Banner acts as HQ to the investigation. Banner requests that Tony puts on some pants when they are working. Tony sarcastically says, we're hunting down a murderer here Bruce and you're talking about pants? Try to be more professional. Somewhere far beyond the reach of man, Doctor Strange and the Punisher seeks answers in a strange place. Doctor Strange is alerted and they proceed to find a corpse. The Punisher uses his detective skills to find a green bullet that killed the beast. Back on Earth, in an abandoned warehouse, a mindless one grows restless. Two strangers discuss their next move. The man holds the eye and states that the Avengers might be coming sooner rather than later. A third stranger cries in agony on a bed but suddenly Iron Man's voice announces the presence of the Avengers and demands the three strangers to surrender, quickly. The woman arms herself and with a team of mindless ones, she attacks the Avengers. The mystery woman, revealed to be Exterminatrix, charges the Avengers with her outworldly creatures. She finds herself outmatched and quickly defeated by our heroes. Meanwhile, the two other mystery men arrives at the entrance and welcomed by a horde of superheroes demanding for their surrender. Captain America demands a stranger to put the eye down and stand away. He replies by stating that he isn't the murderer they are looking for. He threatens the heroes by stating that the eye will explode. As he unmasks, it is revealed that he is the Orb, a Z-list villain with an eye for a head, and the man who just changed the world. What's going on guys? Welcome to Comic Island. My name is Joey and today we are reviewing and recapping Original Sin Issue 2. Alright, so I skipped over Issue 1 just because I was weary about this big event, but after reading Issue 2, I had to start reviewing it. So just to recap, in Issue 1, the heroes find the Watcher murdered on the moon. His eyes are torn out and they don't have any leads so Fury opens up in the investigation. Black Panther teams up with Emma Frost and Ant-Man to do their investigation. Moon Knight and Winter Soldier meets up with Gamora to explore space for clues. We also got Doctor Strange oddly pairing up with the Punisher to do their part. I actually really enjoy the chemistry between Strange and Punisher. When they find the dead body, Doctor Strange wants to cast a spell to find out what killed it, but Punisher uses his skills to find a green bullet. In issue 1, Cap and Fury shows us green fragments taken from the Watcher's skull. I assume this bullet came from the same gun that was used to kill the Watcher. I also love reading what's going on in the minds of these mindless ones. I never thought I would care about what they say, but we now have two sentient mindless ones doing battle with the Avengers. The first one took its own life by using the ultimate nullifier, and the second one just wants to run away. They seem so frightened from what they witnessed, and they confirmed that they were on the moon when the Watcher died. This is getting so interesting and I can't wait to see how these mindless ones connect to the death of the Watcher. So during the press conference, the minds behind this story arc came out and said that many heroes' lives will get turned upside down, but two heroes are confirmed to be heavily affected. Captain America will learn that someone close to him has tampered with his memories. This will have a seismic effect on his relationship with this person. It is also confirmed that a second person was bit by the radioactive spider that bit Peter Parker. We already know her name will be Silk and will have similar powers to Parker, but will she be friend or foe? Alright, so the big reveal at the end is the orb having possession of one eye. I have seen the orb before but never knew who he was. I guess in the pages of Original Sin will be his time to shine. 
It appears that he only has possession of one eye, and he denies murdering the Watcher. So where is the second eye, and who killed the Watcher? So Original Sin is off to a great start and I can't wait to bring you more. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time in Original Sin Issue 3.